What's up, you guys? Sean Ross Sapp, Fightful here with a name you know. You know him as the new NXT champion. We got Braun Breaker. How you doing? I'm great, man. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's been uh, quite the day for you, quite the last 24 hours. Uh, you win the NXT championship just months after debuting. Could, could you have imagined it happening this quick? I mean, you were a highly touted prospect, obviously, but... But this is almost unheard of. Yeah, you know, it's, this is unbelievable, it's a crazy moment for me, and um, this is surreal, man. It's like a dream. And I know you're going to get asked about this a lot. Your father was in attendance. I, that went viral. I mean, I had picture pictures sent to me from the venue that, like, hundreds of people retweeted. Uh, you have the former champion going over there and showing his respect to your father as well. What did that mean to you to have? Your father, Rick Steiner, present there. It was, it was really cool, man. It's the first time he's seen me perform. And, um, you know, it, it was just, that's an unbelievable moment, man. I'll never forget it. So ahead of the match, there was this this fantastic entrance that you have where you're you're kicking through the X, you're, you're, you're pulling the chains. How did that come about? I'm very interested to learn the process of who came up with that. Honestly, I don't know. I just showed up and that's what we were doing. Um, that's, that's really all I got. I mean, that, that's, I have no idea to be honest. <laughs> so we're like, when, when you find out that's what you're doing and you see these chains up there, you're heading into a world title match. Things can go wrong, obviously. Like yeah. how, how are you feeling there? Cause I mean, you're, you're a powerful dude. We, we don't <laughs> like, maybe somebody leaves it hooked up. Like we, we don't know what could happen there. What, what's going yeah. through your head? <laughs> it's the same thing you just said. I hope something mess up. <laughs> um, yeah, it, that was cool, man. I, I was uh, that was a cool thing for me to to get to do. And um, you know, the, the staff here at NXT is is the creative staff is is fantastic, man. They're, they're always coming up with cool ideas and, and um, you know just cool ways to make everybody just further their character and further their, their abilities. And, and, um, and it's, they, they do a fantastic job. It's great. So obviously the switch to NXT 2.0 has been a big one for you personally, because you've been the centerpiece of that, that rebirth of NXT, but you uh, signed with WWE about a year ago. So you saw plenty of the, the previous uh, version of NXT how far ahead of NXT 2.0 did you hear that you were going to be a, a focal point of this program? Day before. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, stress. Yeah, night before. So uh, prior to that, like, did you have any like plans in your mind? Like, this is when I might make it to TV. This is when I might start doing like matches because you all you all haven't been doing live events for nxt as well right um no to be honest i didn't because you know the dynamic back then was a bit different and um and things were different back then and um you know it was just uh just focused on the daily daily training and trying to be, get better you know what i mean and um you know i mean you know, during that time, and you know, I still have a ton of work to do. I'm still new, um, but you know, during that time, I was I was like brand new. So like, I mean, you know, all I was all I'm focused on is practice, and and <laughs> you know what I mean, just just being on time and and you know those things. So and it's crazy. One of those big things that's impressed a lot of the audience so far is how versatile your offense has been. Like you go from a gorilla press power slam to a standing moonsault, a top rope Frankensteiner. Like at what point did you realize, you know what? I'm going to integrate this into my offense because why not? I mean, it's just, it's my, I'm a sports entertainer, man. It's my job. And I, I want to entertain the fans, man. That's um, I love the WWE universe. I love, Love the fans, man. We wouldn't be here without them. And it's, uh, I just want to show them what I can do. I want to show them that, you know, I, I belong here and that I can be a great NXT champion. And, and I want people to fall in love with my work and, and want to see me be on the edge of their seat when they, when I come out. And, um, and that's all I'm trying to do. That's it. I think that, I mean, if 
of course, people know your football background. I don't think people realize how quickly you you transitioned. I mean, as of last season, you were you were signed with the team, and yeah. then here you are, NXT champion the next year. I, I know that uh, shortly after your your run in the NFL, you signed with WWE. How soon after that did you know this is what I want to do? This is the route I'm going. <laughs> I've been wanting to wrestle my entire life. I mean, I've been wanting to be a WWE superstar my entire life. So the second football was up for me, it was, I mean, it was gone, man. I was like, well, all right, I'm moving on. Like, this is always, this is where I wanted to be, man. Like, I've been chomping at the bit to be here, like, forever. So as soon as the opportunity, as soon as it was there, I mean, boom, I was gone. I remember specifically, like, a picture of you went viral. You were running. It was uh, it was one it was a football drill photo and people were like, "That's that's Rick Steiner's son." Like, <laughs> I at some point did you like hear buzz from wrestling fans like even before signing with WWE like this guy's got to come over here and how did that make you feel if you did hear it? It was cool, man. It was a, it was a it was a cool reception from the wrestling uh, universe and back when I was, I was playing ball and. and um, it was cool, man. It was cool. That, cool thing to see that the fans still love my my dad and uncle and what they what they did before me. And uh, it was just, it was it was a warm reception, man. It was it was really cool. Now I I had saw where you did a match right before your signing, like in between. I think it was maybe in between the the NFL run and that. What? How did that come together? And and what did you learn from that experience? I mean, honestly, I didn't even know I was doing it. Um, I, my uncle was doing a, um, uh, like a signing and, and, you know, I just, I just went along with them just like, you know, just, just to hang out with them, honestly. And then, uh, he was like, Hey, you're going to wrestle. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how to wrestle. <laughs> so that's really, that's really all it was. I just, I had no idea. Did you get any feedback from him or your dad on on that specific match? And and what did they um, say? No, <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I, they they give me feedback and stuff now, but I, honestly, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Back then. So I know I know you got a couple other brothers. Had either one of them ever considered or have ever considered uh, possibly getting in the ring? You know, I, everybody. We're, we all kind of do we, our own stuff. I mean, it's like my oldest brother is. Hudson, um, and he, he works on cars, man. He's, he's a handyman. He's like really, really good with, with, uh, you know, just like working on stuff and fixing stuff. And, um, you know, he's an electrician and, and he, he does welding and like, I mean, he's, he's so, um, just like technically inclined. He's like very, very intelligent person. Um, you know, my middle brother, same way. And he's, he does like roofing and stuff. And he's, he's a bit of more like construction route and stuff, but he was an athlete in college as well. We're all three were. So, um, yeah, man, we're, we're all just kind of, you know, all three doing our, doing our stuff, but you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe someday. Sure. I, I had heard on, on a Jim Ross podcast that you had met him at an AEW show when you were in college were there people that were like making you offers or mentioning were there, were there like, there's a lot of people out there scouting and stuff. There's a lot of options, but WWE has that very unique ability to scout college athletes. Had, had they spoken to you or had anybody spoken to you like even before NFL or in college? Uh, no, I mean, cause I, I was just focused on football. Sure. That, you know, at that point, you know, that, that's, um, you know, I, I, um, I, I, I went to an AEW show when I was playing football, but, but it was, you know, my dad is, is really good friends with, you know, a lot of people that work there in the, in the back and stuff. So it was, I, I just got to meet all those guys and just kind of just go to a, go to a wrestling match. And, um, you know, it was, it was in my backyard in Atlanta, so right down the street and, you know, I went down there and just got to meet some people and it, it was cool. And as we, we wrap up, WWE announced some NIL deals recently, which I think is a fantastic thing for, for college athletes and just in general. What were your thoughts when you saw that? Because that wasn't a thing just as a couple of a year as of a couple of years ago. Right. I think it's a great program. Um, 
it's it's very cool. I mean, it just shows that that we we have um, you know we're, we're recruiting athletes from all over the world, and we have um, scouts out there doing just like in, in any other sport, man. Any other sport, there's people out there and they're scouting guys. They're they're looking for the next big thing or looking, and uh, it just it, it's cool, man. It's uh, I think it's a great program. I think it's going to have a huge payoff with with get with people, and um, you know it's going to be exciting. It's 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 gonna it's gonna be a cool thing for for athletes to be a part of. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a great. Braun Breaker, new NXT champion. I want to thank you so much for taking the time. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for having me on. Until next time, guys, we're out.